Welcome to Robu. Today I am going to show you how to program the ESP boards. So if you are a beginner to ESP boards and want to program them, so this video is for you. So today I have with me this ESP boards and also I am going to test them by uploading some basic programs. Today I have with me this ESP01 which is a small one, then the Node MCU and then finally the ESP32 and I am going to test all of them. So first starting with ESP01. So I will tell you about this, this has got full GPIO pins, it has not got any ADC pin and it has not got any onboard voltage regulator. So you have to give it 3.3 volts otherwise this board will be damaged. So if you give even a voltage greater than 3.6 volt it will damage this board. So I advise you if you are using this board then you need an external programmer, external USB to UART converter like this. So you connect this to the COM port connect RX and TX to this board and also 3.3 volts is supplied by this board so this board will be safe. So the next one is the Node MCU. It has got onboard voltage regulator and also it has got onboard CP2102 chip. So you can connect one USB cable. So this is a USB cable, USB micro. You can directly connect it and program this board. So what's good about this board is you can also program it, fix it on the breadboard and program it, okay. So the next one is the ESP32. So these two boards may look similar but this has got only one ADC channel and this has got 18 ADC channels. So you can connect many sensors to this, 10 sensors, analog sensors you can connect to this module and you can make a IoT project with many sensors. And also it has got touch sensor, temperature sensor, hall effect sensor and also Bluetooth. Okay, so there is lot more in this board to ask, okay. And also it has got onboard regulator and CP2102 chip as in this one, okay. So this board, you can use it to make a big IoT project. But today we are going to just test it, okay. So let's start with this one. So I will connect CP2102 to ASP01 board, okay. So the receive pin goes to transmit pin. So RXD goes to TXD, TXD goes to RXD, ground goes to ground obviously yes and as you can see there are three wires for ground right. So ground goes to ground, ground also goes to GPIO 0 because in programming mode GPIO 0 needs to be grounded. Circuit diagram is given in the blog, link is given in the description, I am just narrating the circuit so that it becomes clear to you while you are making it right. So GPIO 0 goes to ground and one more ground goes through the switch to the reset pin okay this is the switch i am using switch module so ground goes to one end of the switch and other end goes to the reset pin so there are two vcc pins means two 3.3 volt pins on this board so 3.3 volt goes to 3.3 volt and chip enable requires 3.3 volt yes because we always want this to be enabled so it goes to enable like this so we have connected the esp01 module now what we will do we will connect it to the com port and start programming so also we need the arduino id to be compatible with all, all these boards right we need the arduino id to be compatible with all these boards so we will connect this to the com port like this and you will open the Arduino IDE. So we will connect it to the COM port. ESP board is connected to the COM port. Now what I will do, I will go to device manager to see the port number. Okay, that is very important. And expand the ports. You will see a Silicon Lab CP210X USB to UART bridge COM8. So on COM8 our module is connected. So we know on COM8 our module is connected. What we will do is we will now open the Arduino IDE. So in case if you don't have this Arduino IDE then what you can do is you can download the link is given in the description. So when we open the Arduino IDE there is no boards initially, ESP boards installed in this at present. So you have to install it. I will show you how to install them. So what you do is, there are two links for this. One is for ESP and one is for ESP32. You go to file, 
click on preferences and I will just delete this link okay so what you need to do is first you copy this ESP32 link control C and you paste it in the additional board managers URL then you hit the comma okay enter comma then paste the another link which is for ESP32 okay you copy it and paste it here so what this will do is uh, now you have included all the two boards which for ESP8266 also and ESP32 also and then you hit on OK so all the boards are now added to the Arduino IDE so what you do now is go to tools go to board in the board manager you search for ESP8266 and here you will see one package which is called ESP8266 by ESP8266 community you just install this I have already installed it and this will install all the boards for the ESP8266 and then you type ESP32 and then you have to install this package which is ESP32 by Espressive Systems I have already installed it at the bottom you can see there is one install button you just have to click on this and it will be installed so I have installed both the boards now let's write a basic code to program the onboard LED on this ESP01 module so I know that the onboard LED on this module is on GPIO1 and GPIO1 is also the transmit pin so you won't be able to see anything on the serial monitor that's why when uh, something is getting communicated it is not seen on the serial monitor when you are using the GPIO1 pin ok so that is a warning I am giving you when you use the GPIO1 pin so I will write int LED is equal to 1 so because it's a small board there are many multi functionalities to a single pin that is a disadvantage also and advantage also in one sense so you have to be aware that if you are not using any pin has got any other function so let's assign it as output right because it's a LED pin right so pin mode LED comma output and at now we are going to just blink it and at present we are just going to blink it so right here digital right LED comma high so high will turn it off then we wait for some time delay of 500 and again we turn it off after blinking the onboard LED we are also going to test the Wi-Fi okay so that is the important part so let's upload this code for uploading you should go to tools select the board generic ESP8266 module and then you select the COM board which is COM8 and then you have to hit the upload button so it's now uploading so as the program is uploaded now what you have to do is you have to remove this board from the programming mode so remove this GPIO 0 wire from ground to disconnect it now what you have to do is hit the reset button like this and you can see that the onboard LED is blinking with blue ok so the blue light is blinking on the board that means that this board is working its microcontroller is perfectly fine now let's test this Wi-Fi capabilities whether it can connect to the Wi-Fi or not so I'll open the Wi-Fi code so this is a test code for Wi-Fi so at first you have to include the library esp 8266 wi then you have to enter your Wi-Fi credentials your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password and then you have to change the onboard LED 
So the onboard LED on this ESP module is one, right? So I'll keep it one. And then, yes, I will explain with this code. So Wi-Fi dot begin SSID and password will go in this field. So start the Wi-Fi, and then it will search for the Wi-Fi. So if it's not connected, okay. So this line means if it's not connected, then it will print dot, okay. So dots will get printed on the serial monitor, but in this case, this not this will not happen because we are using GPIO one pin, right? So the serial monitor message will not be shown. So in the while loop, when the Wi-Fi is connected, what we are doing is we are blinking the LED, okay? When the Wi-Fi is disconnected, we are turning off the LED. So the LED will start blinking when the Wi-Fi will be connected, okay? So I'll upload this code. and right now my hotspot is off so after uploading this code i will turn on my hotspot after some time to show you that how the led blinking starts when the wifi is on so the code is uploading and i will set this board into programming mode by connecting gpio 0 to ground otherwise it will give me error so right now it's showing connecting I will hit the reset button. The programming doesn't starts. Yes, now the writing has started. So the code is uploaded. Now what I will do is I will remove this board from the programming mode, and I will hit the reset button. And as you can see that the onboard LED is not blinking right now because I have not turned on the hotspot of my mobile. As soon as I will turn on the hotspot, this module will connect to the internet, and this onboard LED will start blinking. So I will turn on my hotspot. I have turned it on, and now you can see that it will connect to it. Yes, see, it has connected, and now the blinking has started. You can see that the LED is blinking on board with blue light. In a similar way, we can now uh, test the Wi-Fi for this board. and for ESP32 also so in this way we tested all this ESP boards and made them compatible with Arduino IDE if you found this video useful then like this video subscribe to robu for more amazing electronic projects until next time stay tuned with robu